Hi guys, I'm Marticor and Sims 2 is this kind of game that is 16 years old and it still surprises you with all of different weird stuff that it does. So recently I made the video about the genetics system and a lot of people didn't believe me that it really happened in the game, but that is not important right now. Um, but anyway, uh, there's another thing that this game does that I found out about very recently, so I want to test it because this time I am kind of skeptical about it, so I want to check if this is really like that. So I already know that when you adopt a child in The Sims 2, it will just come with a randomized face template, like the, the full face pre-made from Cass. But it turns out that when you adopt a baby, this baby will be a mix of two random townies, which is crazy. I cannot imagine this happening. Like, how cool is that? So today I will have some fun adopting some babies, growing them up really fast with Inseminator again, of course. The townies in this uh, in this town, the NPCs, are the same as in Pleasant View. They are just like the basic set of NPCs. So uh, I know a lot of them pretty well. So I think I could be able to actually guess whose baby that is. So like, oh my god, this is so exciting and so weird. <laughs> I know. Uh, okay, did I say everything that I needed for the beginning? Uh, maybe I will just say that this is the freshly launched game. I haven't done anything like with Cass or anything, with the pacifier, whatever. Uh, so also I would like to maybe check if there is something similar to the firstborn syndrome for adoption. If I adopt the first baby here and then after a few families I leave the game, launch it back and again adopt a child if this child will be the same as the very first that I adopted, you know? Uh, we'll check that too. Okay, so without further ado, I need to go to some random family. Okay, 10 p.m. There's no light, but whatever. Uh, let's try to adopt a baby and then uh, wait until 10 a.m. Uh, as the baby comes. Uh, not pet adoption service. Oh my god. <laughs> we need a baby, not a puppy. Yes, you'll make a great parent. Yeah, definitely with no lights in my house and like literally six objects <laughs> But well, we have enough money. So whatever. Oh wait I just realized that I can actually do it with one family just saving before the baby comes Checking the baby then leaving without saving and then going through all of that again because it will probably be a different baby next time. This is a great idea. This will take a lot less time. Okay, I'll save now. And here, of course, only with a baby you can name it. So, uh, not Hank, not Grapefruit this time. Maybe let's name him, uh, uh, whatever, Edward. I love how he's just sitting there like... Just chillin'. <laughs> okay, I already see his blonde with brown eyes. That looks nice. And I thought that after aging him up, I could use the summoner as well to summon the NPCs that I think are the parents of this child. I mean, like, kind of parents, you know? Like, this child has the genetics of those sims. And so, so that I can, you know, uh, compare them and see if I'm really correct. Give me that baby. Thank you. Now we can go away. Oh no, okay, I know this face, but I will not be able to put my finger on it. But it kind of looks like a ready template, right? I don't think anything changed. Okay, I have no idea, honestly. With this one, I, I don't know. <laughs> but... Let's check another one, because actually it did happen to me uh, in a different gameplay that I had a baby adopted that uh, looked kind of like Amon Sims, you know, like his face was very, and even colors were very uh, similar, so maybe that was a coincidence, but I mean, someone told me that this was like that, so I'm testing it and seeing if it's, it really is, because, you know, um, this guy could have just got like all of the face from one parent, right? That happens. Actually, it's not really that uncommon. So uh, yeah, so I guess I will leave the game. I mean, the family. But I have to remember, I mean, this 
face is not very forgettable, so I guess I will remember <laughs> what he looked like. It will be probably pretty easy to see if there is a firstborn or first adopted syndrome or something, yeah. There are so many townies that it's really hard to know actually all of them, so uh, I, I didn't really realize that it would be this hard because, I mean, if the child is a mix of Komei Tellerman and like uh, Marissa Bandet or something, then I will see that. But with like uh, townies that came with expansion packs, that uh, could be a bit harder. Again, a boy? Uh, Clive. Really? Did, did the game really have to bug in this moment? The guy even made it to... Um, the guy even made it to clean up the cake before I even noticed that it bugged. Please stop glitching, game. Thank you. Kind of like Alexander Goth. I mean, like the, the face template. I always call it Alexander Goth. Uh, <laughs> because he has this template. Oh my god, I don't know, but I can definitely see that this is not a pre-made cast template. I'm thinking that maybe Marissa Bandet had something to do with that, because the eyes, I think, are from her uh, face template, and the lips are probably also from the same template, but the nose and the colors could be like Gordon... I have to say that this is actually kind of fun. Maybe at some point I will actually see someone who looks like a townie that I know. Okay, again baby boy, what the hell? Uh, I don't know, like, John. Oh, he's a redhead now. With blue eyes, okay, let's see. Maybe it is a Komei Tellerman. <laughs> this time. Oh wow, okay, you cannot tell me that this is a pre-made cast template. Oh, that's Komei Tellerman. Oh, this is so much Komei. He is the father, the genetic father. Please summon your dad. Do you see that? I mean, the eyebrow, like, style is different, you know, because uh, he has more bushy eyebrows, but, like, the eyes, red hair, blue eyes, and also the eye shape is the same. I mean, of course, the townies are just made from pre-made cast templates, that's obvious, so you could assume that uh, the baby is just mixed from random cast templates, but just as well, it could be a mix of two townies, especially that he has the same colors. <laughs> and the rest of his face is Alexander Goth's template this time, this time for sure, so it could be... Amanda Carlson, for example, but he just happened to get the same skin as Komei. He's also kind of handsome, isn't he? Like, he's not very, uh, I don't know, like, general beauty stuff, but, like, I would definitely like a sim like that in my game. Even if it's a coincidence and it just mixes the templates from Cass with random colors, it's still a lot better than adopting children and toddlers that just get the whole ready face. So I am not adopting any other life stage from now on than a baby. Because I like to have sims that look a bit different. I could do this all day. Can I once get a girl, please? A boy again. Uh, okay, his name will be Dante. Okay, let's take it slow now. Oh, that was fast. Oh, he's so cute. I think it's the first template. No, it's the second template. On a toddler, it's really hard to say. Is it fully the second template or are the eyes from the first one? Those templates are so pretty that it's hard, hard to tell them apart sometimes. I think it's fully the second template. He's really handsome. Maybe let's try two more times and then I will check if the first adopted syndrome happens, okay? Let's not make this video too long. It's a girl! You know what? Let's name her Cindy. I found out about all of this on Cindy's Discord. Pleasant Sims' name is Cindy, so let's just honor her. Okay, Cindy, show yourself. Oh, she's a little monkey. Again, this is not a whole ready template. Also proof for the fact that the game mixes townies is that the baby is always a mix of two face templates. You always just see face features from two different templates, so, I mean, that's the result of actually having two parents, right? 
if the game just chose random like eyes, nose, lips, whatever from very different templates, then the baby would be more mixed. Okay, her eyes look kind of like Sandy Broody's, but the nose and uh, and lips are different. Melissa has a different template, although similar. That's true. Okay, this is Laura. And again, she has the second face. But she's really pretty, that's for sure. Okay, now let's check if there's the firstborn syndrome. So I'm going to leave the game completely. I'm back. What was the name of that first baby? Edward. Okay. Oh, it's a girl. <laughs> okay, so that's a girl named Edward. This adoption chime will be in my dreams tonight. Oh no, she has brown hair. Oh, she's totally different. So, oh, that's a lot of personality points. So I regret that I didn't check the personality of that first child that we had before, because for adoption, it's actually very common that uh, the personality is the same. And that is kind of this first adopted syndrome, let's say. Let's check one last time. Okay, uh, this is definitely Brandy Letter No, Letter No, whatever. Plus, Benjamin Long or Kennedy Cox, I see those templates. Like, the eyes are Brandy's for sure. Edward, show me your parents. Brandy, does she have dark blue eyes? No, she has gray eyes. Uh, okay, so someone who has Benjamin Long's template, but with dark blue eyes. I think it's possible that actually Benjamin has dark blue eyes. I'm not sure though. No, light blue. Uh, okay, Kennedy Cox. No, he has brown. Yeah, the eyes template is the same, but she definitely has the same face as uh, those guys, even though you can't really see that because on guys this template looks a lot worse. Okay, let's check I'm in Sims, because now I can't actually remember what his eyes are. Oh, light blue again. Huh. No matter who the father is, this is again a Sim that I would love to have in my game. So, please guys, if you adopt, adopt a baby. Save babies! Okay, I don't know if that proved anything. I am not sure myself if it really works that way. So even if the game doesn't really mix two townies to make the baby, still adopting a baby gives you more variation of how the baby will look. I've been thinking of making some trivia videos about either genetics or adoption because I've done a lot of that stuff on my Polish channel and I see after making that genetics video here on the English one that a lot of people don't know about stuff that I've known for years and uh, I know that a lot of people know about it but a lot of people don't so like if you are interested in something like that uh, you know some aspects of the genetics like how does the I don't know uh, plastic surgery work all the sim files that you have like in sim pe dominant genes and stuff like that and also there is some kind of sequence when it comes to adopting children so i could also talk about that so if you are interested in that please let me know and i will make those videos because why not Okay, so that will be it for this video. I really hope it, it was at least fun to watch. It was really hard to actually tell which townies the babies are made of. Sometimes I instantly had an idea, like with Komei Tellerman. But other than that, there are so many townies. I would have to maybe make a custom neighborhood, make my own townies, and then you know, like, see if it really works like that. But okay, that's it. I at least hope it wasn't a disappointment. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to subscribe and comment on the if you liked the video. And see you in the next one. Bye.